Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host, Kingpin, and today we're going to jump right into it. Today is going to be a special one. This is a complete thoughts, opinions, preview, uh, what I think is to come on chapter 600, uh, and how this is going to play out. And the reason why I did this, and I, I, I researched, and I'll tell you how I researched, um, because... Things are, in my mind, they're still not adding up. And what that means is, if it's not adding up, it's not making sense. It's what I think is going to transpire to make this make sense. Um, and, of course, this is all circling around. Obito, Chiha, um, and everything we see right now today. Um, it's a lot of crazy stuff out there. And uh, I guess the best thing to do is just jump right into it. Um, we got Obito Uchiha. He, he is now Toby. And so what I did was to research this, I went back to watch Kakashi Chronicles. So this is what you might need to go do. If you want to verify my findings. Watch Kakashi, the Kakashi Chronicles 1 and 2. Okay. And what I was looking for was reasons of intent of evil. Um, things that transpire that make someone end up to become evil, okay? If you want to use a good analogy or a good person, would obviously be Sasuke. Sasuke's parents died at a young age, killed by his brother. His brother tormented him to make him stronger, thought that that was the path that he should take. And he thought that would lead him away from evil, but it didn't. It kind of just backfired on, uh, uh, on his brother, okay? And Sasuke ended up becoming an evil guy. So it was a lot of things that transgressed into him becoming evil. So, moving forward, I'm thinking, okay, this must have been something in Kakashi Chronicles that we didn't see that made Obito evil. Okay? There's nothing. Nothing. He might have said a couple of mean little things, but that kid stuff. Okay? Um... You know, he, he was a proud Ochiha member. He even threw that in Kashi's face a couple of times. And it just doesn't make sense. Um, at this time, during the Kakashi Chronicles, Kakashi is 13. So Obito, we don't, I don't think we know Obito's age. He's either 13 or 14 years old. Uh, at that point, Kakashi is a Jonin. This is his first mission as a Jonin. Um, their mission is to blow up the bridge. And during this process... Uh, Ren gets captured and she gets kidnapped and Obito has a moment he's like we need to go save Ren she's a friend of ours blah 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 he convinces Kakashi to go save Ren at this point in time he ends up getting uh, his Uchiha eyes ends up becoming a little bit of a badass and they go into a cave to defeat this guy and boom Toby gets not Toby Obito gets crushed in the cave and this whole time, he, he said, I'm dying. 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 And take my eye, gives it to Kakashi. Ren installs the eye in Kakashi's head. And Kakashi goes to finish up the battle. And while he was still in there, he was like, look, you guys got to get out of here because, you know, the, the enemy is going to be coming. Blah, 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 blah got to get out of here. And the enemy does show up because they're in enemy territory in the, uh, is it the Stone Village or the Cloud Village? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. They're enemy territory. And they use a rock technique and totally collapse everything on Obito. I'm talking about crush, crush the shit out of it. Okay? Boom. Everybody thinks Obito is dead. Okay? Now, we're going to fast forward. Two, yes, you guys all know it. The battle between Madeira, not Toby at the time, who was thought to be might have been Madeira, Toby and Minato. Okay, now this is a few years later. Minato's now Hokage. Kakashi is probably in his early 20s, mid 20s at best. 
um, but that we're, we're not 100% sure, but you can kind of gauge uh, from the dressings, uh, Menito's age, obviously, he's a young man when he becomes a father, so, you know, you could say he's probably his, his early 20s, you know, he's probably, at, probably 19, 20 years old. That also would mean Obito is 19 or 20 years old. So, somehow, he has come back, somebody got him, and put him back together, brought him back to life, did some type of chakra exchange, whatever. He is now fighting Minato, who trained Obito, okay? Minato was his sensei, okay? We all know the process of how you become somebody's sensei, this, that, and the other, and, you know, he pretty much teaches them how to further develop their skills and things like that. And he pretty much is going up against his master at that time, his sensei. Okay. Now, with that being said, we see Minato takes the best of him. But Minato says a lot of little things that helps you like, okay, how did he get in here? Now, remember, this is a thought of him being Madeira. Somebody had to help Toby because he got past the barriers, the secret pregnancy, all of these things. If you go back and watch it, he says it. Right before their fight, he kind of like analyzes this whole situation, how this could have played out. Now, I'm thinking to myself, it couldn't be uh, Itachi because Itachi was like six at the time. Uh, and he was holding Sasuke in the village. Um, only person who, who could have played a hand in this could have been Orochimaru. I, I, know that's, I know that's a far cry, but Orochimaru is the only one that could make sense. Um, Orochimaru was the only one who could have found Toby. Uh, or Obito at the time and nursed him back to hell. Now, with that being said, this is still no reason to become evil. There's still no indication that he should be evil. So, at this point in time, I'm going to have to give this whole Obito thing a thumbs down. Okay? <laughs> Chill. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. I love Naruto as much as the next Naruto fan. But you have to understand, you have to make this shit make sense. And right now, it doesn't pan out. Toby going crazy and becoming some evil guy who want to take on the village. Toby going against his friends and his sensei and his master. People who loved him, cared about him, who buried him. Um, it doesn't make sense. If they use this Ren thing as an excuse, maybe Ren ended up with Kakashi, had a miscarriage, and both of them died during birth, I'm going to be pissed. The only thing I can see is maybe Orochimaru having his hand in this. It, it's not coming together right now. And then doing the fight between Benito and him, remember when he like did the Rasengan, and after he did the, the, the flash technique, and his arms slid off, and a lot of people thought that was something that had to do with Zetsu. So I was thinking to myself, that could have been Orochimaru doing his DNA techniques and, you know, making him something he's not. Remember, only Orochimaru could regenerate his body once he got something bitten off or, or a leg or arm missing. He would just come out of, this, like, out of the mouth like a snake and hash all that stuff off of him. And, you know, now he's, his body's whole again. Like I said, it's a lot of things that's just not adding up. So we're gonna go with this for right now. And I, I and I want you guys to understand, I'm not doing this to make anybody upset. I'm doing this because, look look it up. Go watch Kakashi Chronicles and go watch the fight between, I have, and I'm gonna tell you right now, cause I had it, just finished it. Uh, Kakashi Chronicles, which is easy to look up, and Naruto Shippuden episode 248. English sub, you can see that NarutoGit.com or wherever you uh, see your shit at. Check it out. Come back to, re to, to rebuttal my findings or tell me your findings. And I like I said, I watched these videos a couple of times, even looked up the mangas. No indication that this will make sense. So without Orochimaru having a hand in this, how Obito had the skill to go against his former teacher at such a young age, uh, since he was never gifted like Kakashi to begin with. <sighs> I 
Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, this shit is not adding up. So, just stay tuned. We're going to see how this shit pans out. Hope you guys like the preview of my thoughts and opinion for 600. I think we're going to find more to come. I think we're going to find out the real issue behind this. And we're going to see who's right and who's wrong. And whatever we find out, if it doesn't make absolute sense, we're going to say it. We're just going to speak the truth. No matter how much Naruto fans we really are. All right. You guys, peace out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of what I just talked about, what I just said. Let me know if you agree with me. If you disagree with me, fuck it. Whatever. But leave your, leave, be man enough to leave a comment below and explain your reasons why. Because I do read the comments. I haven't been able to respond because of my computer situation. I got a laptop over here. It's just, everything's just not where it needs to be until I move. So, come the middle of September when I move, should it be right. But anyway. Do your thing below, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the subscribers who came out supporting me. 100 subscribers in like four days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do your thing below. Peace.